my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to reduce the render time in Adobe After Effects. Uh, your render time, or how long it takes to get what you've put in for effects out in a finished video, uh, will vary on a lot of different factors. Um, primarily, it's going to depend on your hardware. So, uh, faster CPU with more cores will be better, uh, more RAM, and a faster hard drive. And you'll quickly find that your hard drive will become a bottleneck. So if you're doing a lot of really intensive rendering, I suggest a solid state drive. They are expensive, but they do pay off with rendering. Um, as far as the preview side of things go, a lot of that will depend on your graphics card. But I'll, dep I'll take you through some of the settings inside of Adobe After Effects. If you go to Edit, Preferences, and we'll just pick General to start. I'll take you through some of these settings that you can alter to increase your render time inside of After Effects. So, if we go to Display, you can check Hardware Accelerate, Composition, Layer, and Footage Panels. Underneath Media Disk, excuse me, Media and Disk Cache, uh, enabling the cache will allow After Effects to not need to re-render things over and over again because it ran out of RAM. So if you ever move from one composition to another and render the second composition, you go to the first and realize that your render is completely gone. It's because After Effects ran out of uh, RAM space and had to free it up. So the disk cache will allow After Effects to not need to re-render that first composition again. This uh, memory and multiprocessing option is also very important. You can select how much RAM After Effects is allowed to use. I recommend setting this reserved for other applications as low as possible and also setting the CPU cores as low as possible for other applications. Give After Effects as much horsepower as it can take. Um, you can also check this render multiple frames simultaneously. It will speed up your ability to preview your composition while you're working on it because instead of being locked in one frame, After Effects will render as many frames as it can all at once. Take full advantage of your CPU. Also underneath Display, if you click on OpenGL, um, you can set the amount of memory reserved for textures, and it will also tell you the version of the driver that you're using for your graphics card. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to render faster in Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.